y'all see that right there? I'm officially done with this crap. What's going on guys today here rolling the bullets camping in the winter it's always fun always always a blast you always find new problems well current situation here in the buckeye and the frozen tundra as you guys can see i got this makeshift stuff here going on so last night we dropped down way low in the temperatures now i've got heat tape run down through the sewage pipe it's not frozen there it's actually frozen in our black tank even though we have a heated bay, there must be too much wind getting around the seals here. But it ended up freezing the lower part of that pipe that's exposed out here. Well, of course, we also have the wind off the lake here where we're at. So, um, word to the wise, if you're going to be uh, RVing in the wintertime, you know you're going to be set someplace for the winter. You should probably enclose your bay. Um, but see, with us, at any given moment, we could be out of here. So we really didn't want to spend the money on sealing up the whole underbelly as far as skirting because we have a sealed underbelly. But yeah, whoever said RVing in the wintertime was uneventful, you lie. So with the current situation we have, the actual sewage pipe itself is not frozen because I have heat tape down through there and I wrapped it around the elbows and everything. But unfortunately, the heat tape just does not get hot enough to keep those as warm as you would like especially when you drop under zero degrees which we did last night and the night before so we got some ice build up of course uh in the freeway for the brown hershey highway that runs out to the sewage so the hershey highway has got a poop sickle so you know this is what happens in rving in the winter it's always uh always some sort of roadblock that happens but you know <laughs> no pun intended there there's a roadblock uh there's a fudge pile up <laughs> but anyway guys you know this is just one of those things you're going to have to deal with when you rv in the winter time like i said if we knew for a fact that we were going to be here uh throughout the entire winter we would have definitely skirted the rv to kind of shield it from the wind from the lake because that's the lake right over there um, but right now we're kind of in a wind tunnel so it just kind of blows through there there's always a wind here. It doesn't matter. We were not able to even use our awning. That's how much wind is here. Um, but hopefully, like I said today, I got that sealed around there. I do have an electric heater under there. Uh, hopefully that's going to thaw that out with, we're expecting temperatures close to 33 degrees, which is only a degree above freezing, but hey, I'll take it. So hopefully we can get this thawed out this afternoon because I don't want to have a Cousin Eddie moment with a shitter fool, so. All right, guys. Well, that's the only tidbit I got for you today. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.